This week from Crumble Cookies, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Double Fudge Brownie, Lemon Crinkle, Sugar, Strawberry Pretzel Pie, and Carrot Cake. So I always go over the price first. These cookies, for a four pack, it was $13.95. So it's actually cheaper if you get a four pack than you're paying less per cookie if you get a four pack. Of course, if you only need to buy one, then you then, so then you're you, saving a lot more money. You're saving a lot more money, yeah. If you buy a single cookie, they're four dollars and twenty-eight cents. If you get them as part of the four pack, it ends up being $3.49 each. So you are saving a little bit if you had already planned on buying four anyway. Uh, there is a, uh, the cake, as we uh, showed you at the beginning, the cake is 99 cents extra, additional. So it was $5.27. So $13.95 plus uh, $5.27. So our total before taxes or anything was $19.22. So, and then you've got to add taxes for your area, which is going to vary by state and all that. So, we're going to try the double fudge brownie first. It is a brownie cookie with chocolate ga uh, glaze and these uh, little brownie bites on the top. And it looks like a, a really rich chocolate. That's how it looks. It's thick. Too thick. It's soft too, but it's got a crunchy like uh, outer layer. Of course, I took a huge bite. I did too. It's nice, nice chocolate flavor. Of course, you have to go in for another bite. Yeah, it's got these like, I don't know if they're chocolate chips or something, but it might have been the topping that I got on my finger, but it, it's there's wet parts in there too. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. You mean another cookie they eat the whole thing? No, no, I <laughs> eat the whole thing. Um, it's really good. Yes, it tastes like a brownie. It tastes like a brownie with frosting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like we used to make years ago. Right. <laughs> the only difference is we would put our frosting on thicker. Yeah, but that's where sweet this enough, is a, Yeah, oh, it's plenty sweet enough. But where this is like a chocolate glaze, it's not as thick. It's just traditional frosting. So, uh, but yes, it absolutely is plenty mm -hmm. sweet enough. It's good. I like the... It's a very rich chocolate flavor too, but it's not like a dark bitter chocolate. No. A little bit, but not like dark bitter. No, I would, I would, if I had to classify that, because you know, you can go to the store and you can buy your milk chocolate, your semi-sweet, your dark chocolate, the your double dark chocolate. Um, I would say that's more for me as a semi-sweet. Yeah, maybe even a little sweeter than semi-sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because it does have plenty of sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice texture. It's uh, firm. It's not ooey gooey at all. Mm -hmm. It does um, have a softer, like a little section in there, but it's not gooey. No, it's it's well baked. Yeah. So, and this one's very thin. It's amazing the difference in the size because yeah. this one's a flatter, like it's spread out more. This is the lemon crinkle. It is a lemon cookie rolled in sugar crystals, and then it has uh, powdered sugar on top. So the whole thing is supposed to be rolled in sugar crystals. You can kind of feel like a graininess on there. Hmm. I get that it's a little chewy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not gooey, it's not soft, it's kind of got a chew to it. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. The, um, it, it, it's very traditional, very mm -hmm. traditional lemon crinkle. I do think it is a, um, it's a crisper cookie, mm -hmm. um, because it is flat. Yeah. The outside layer mm -hmm. is a little crispy. Yeah. It's crisp. Uh, but the inside is, it's a very, um, 
it's softer, but it's still, I would still consider this a well-baked cookie. It's very well-baked. That's what I'm saying. It's more chewy than gooey. It's uh -huh. not gooey at all. It's, it's got a little bit of a chew type. What do you think about the amount of lemon? Um, it's a little light. But uh, you still get it. You, you absolutely. You get it for sure. But it for is, sure. Like it is a little were, light. If you were blindfolded, you'd be like, oh, that's a lemon cookie. Yeah, but I really like a strong lemon. I don't want a lemon curd lemon, like, like tart. And, because and, that is Because I don't want that. But I would like a, just a little bit more lemon in there. Right. I'm not complaining about that. Honestly, it's a really good cookie. I but, think they did a good job. But um, a little bit more lemon wouldn't have hurt. I, I think they did a really good job with it. It doesn't taste like a cleaner or anything like no, that. No, no, no. And it's not it's, an overly yeah. sweet cookie either. So, if you're look, yeah, if you want something less sweet, that would be a good one to choose. Yeah. yeah I awesome think that one is less sweet than the chocolate. It is, <laughs> which is weird. Um, the next one is a sugar cookie. It's a sugar cookie. They put some little Easter eggs on top for decoration, yeah. but it's a sugar cookie. Um, it has vanilla frosting and the, the candy eggs you see on top. And I told Kevin, we do want to try candy egg because that's, you know. Oh, those little chocolate eggs. A Cadbury. Um, you think it's a Cadbury? I don't know if it's Cadbury, but. They do have other brands. I haven't bought them in so long. Do you, is it malted or is it? I don't know. It just tastes like chocolate to me. It's just chocolate. Yeah. It's a chocolate egg. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat that with my cookie. It's too no, hard. No, because it's hard. It's too hard. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat it with my cookie either. Mm -hmm. um, because it is too hard to enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just eat the sugar cookie pine. It's a cold cookie. Yeah, and, and it's kind of was denser to cut through. Mm -hmm. It is your traditional sugar cookie. You get that little, you get sweetness, but you get that flowery kind of taste. You still yes, taste you the do. Um, what redeems it is it's got all that frosting on top. <laughs> um, it's also, uh, it's, it's cold, so it's denser, mm -hmm. but it's also probably, I don't know, it seems like the most baked out of all three of these. Um, it seems, um, it's a- Like drier? Yes, it's drier. Yeah. Yes, that's a better word. It's drier, but it is a very traditional sugar cookie. So- Which, Most sugar cookies are kind of a drier texture. The reason you would get that this week is because Easter's coming up and you've got the little Easter eggs on yeah. there. Or I you think, just like their sugar cookies. Or you just like their sugar cookies. But this one is cold, so- um, Yeah. I don't know why they made it cold. Maybe because of the frosting. It's a there's a there's a difference in the texture for me than their traditional sugar cookies. I personally would rather have one that's not cold. Yeah. Um, and people have said many times, just let it sit out. Yeah. Just let oh, it yeah, sit out for an hour. It's fine. Yes, we try them uh, just fresh from the store. Um, the next one is called strawberry pretzel pie. It's new. Strawberry pretzel pie is new. It has pretzel pieces, cream cheese topping, and strawberry jam. I'm trying to arrange it to where I can, where I can cut it. I think that knife will cut through. Yeah, I don't want to break it. I want to make a decent picture for it too. So, That's so, like. so the, the crust itself, the bottom itself, has the pretzel pieces, and then they also put pretzel pieces on top ah, for okay. decoration, yeah. Yeah, it actually has pretzel pieces in the bottom. You Thank go. you. It's like a like a strawberry preserve. Yeah, if you didn't know any better, that might very well be. That tastes like um, Smucker's strawberry preserves. Like literally, they've taken it. They said they make it fresh. It tastes like Smucker's. Because I love, the Smuggers is like my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's what that tastes like. Very, very fresh strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine though, because if they make it themselves, that means it's... Because Smuggers is pretty fresh. This is pretty fresh. Mm -mm -mm. I like the pretzel on top. I could eat that whole thing right now. I like the pretzel on top. The only bad thing about it is it's a little soft. It's soft. Yeah, it's a little soft. It's not like a super crunchy, but you get the flavor, but you don't oh. get the crunchy. Um, did they put it on while you were there or was it already on? 
No, the pride song. Oh, you weren't watching? <laughs> You're supposed to be watching. I was talking. He was talking. Um, this, they come out, Crumble comes out with a lot of new cookies. And I think I said last week, traditionally for me, I don't know why, but a lot of the times, they're just not my favorite. They're yeah. not. That one, I love that. Yep, I absolutely one. love it. I love the uh, the base of it. Mm -hmm. You taste the pretzel. Yep. It has a butteriness to it. Mm -hmm. It um, it has salt. You get the salt from the pretzel. Uh, you get that sweet uh, strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. um, fresh, very fresh. Yes, I love how soft uh, that cream cheese is. It's that yeah, whipped it's kind cream. Of whipped out. Yeah, and it's very soft. Um, it kind of has the texture of like a, it's not quite as sticky, but it's like marshmallow cream almost. Yeah, I mean, when this video's over, that cookie's going down. It, <laughs> it, it's just, it's, it's happening. For the take down. It, 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 that is an awesome cookie. It Love good. it. They did a great job on it. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's sweet really without being pleased. overly sweet. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be pleased with it's it. It's really awesome. Okay. And did you get any seeds necessarily? I saw strawberries some, though, but I so did, small. Yeah, it's it's not like getting a raspberry seed where they're hard. Yeah. So a raspberry seed, they they get stuck in your teeth and they're hard. Strawberries different. Yeah, so I do like, see the strawberry seeds. I saw seeds, some, but I, they didn't like I didn't yeah, detect them at all. Maybe if you're not allowed to have seeds because of whatever, um, you right. may not just be aware that it has. Right, seeds. but it's, yeah, they like literally you would not know if you didn't yeah. see them. Well, but you could take them out. No. <laughs> okay, this is the carrot cake, and it's also new. It has, um, in the ingredients, it has ground cinnamon, ginger, ground nutmeg, ground cloves. Carrot. <laughs> it has a coconut, pineapple, and carrots. It has a light glaze and cream cheese frosting, and then it's topped with little chopped pecans. Mm-hmm. Kind of hard to pick up cake. It's pretty, isn't it? Just to, did you eat the whole piece? <laughs> it was easier than biting it. I tell you what, do you really get the, the spice? What is that, nutmeg? It has everything. It has- Nutmeg and ginger, maybe? Cinnamon, ginger, ground nutmeg, ground cloves. I don't really get the cinnamon as much as I get the, uh -uh. I think nutmeg and, and Ginger are the two strongest flavors I got. You get the carrot texture, but I don't necessarily, no, you get a little bit of that carrot flavor. If you're ever uh -huh. curious about the ingredients, if you hear me say an ingredient and it wasn't in the original description that Crumble gives, then all you have to do is go to their website, Click on nutrition and you can see the yeah, list of ingredients. You can see the list of ingredients. That's where I get my information. I'm, uh, I like that. I'm surprised it's not much, much sweeter. With the amount of frosting on it, there's a mm -hmm. lot of frosting on it, but mm -hmm. I tasted some of the frosting. It's not a super sweet frosting. Um, it's good, it's just not, it's not as sweet as what they put on their cookies. Right. Um, what did you say stood out for you? Like the nutmeg and ginger. That's I the think so biggest too. flavor I get. I think so too. I think those stand out too. And then kind of behind that is that carrot flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you do get the shreds of the coconut. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily taste coconut, which is surprising nope, because coconut either. can be strong. But you do get the texture of yep. the, the shredded pieces. What do you think about the texture of the cake itself? Um, I thought it was nice. Yeah. I thought it was uh, very fresh. Yeah, it, uh, it's not rubbery or... It's light. It's yeah. fluffy, just like you want a cake to I be. Agree. It has a nice little um, uh, firmer edge around it so that you get the softer cookie in yeah. the center, uh, the light fluffiness, and then you get that little bit of an edge, but no, not rubbery at all. No. Um, I think it's very nice. I think it's nice. I wish it was sweeter because I really like it. My would, favorite part of the carrot cake is the frosting. Is the frosting, <laughs> yeah. And, and truly, that's true. They it, honestly, yes, it could be the the frosting could be sweeter for me too. Yeah, it, but I I do like it. I like it, I, and I I'm still like getting it. coconut. Yeah, I'm I'm still tasting the. Uh, and I'm not tasting it. You're getting pieces mm -hmm, of the coconut. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm getting the pieces of coconut out of my teeth. Yeah. Um, 
but I, I like that. See, some people don't like those pieces. No. I do like those pieces. So for me, that's that's not a bad thing. I'm not insulting it or anything. I do like how fresh it is. Yep, yeah, it's good. I don't know that I would, this is just my, my personal taste. I don't know that I would spend an extra dollar for it um, over the cookies that they're offering. Because I like a couple of the cookies much more than I like the cake. That's what I'm thinking. So you can go in there. I mean, try it out if you're interested, right. for sure. But right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because they did do a good job with it. Yeah. Uh, did you necessarily taste carrot? Because Maybe, yeah, I the reason I'm asking Kevin that is because Kevin does not like carrot, and so normally if he has carrot, it he doesn't he wants to eat the carrot cake, but he really just wants like, to eat the frosting, like honestly. Frosting. And a little bit of the seasoning, <laughs> uh, the spices. No, honestly, um, like I said, the, it was the ginger and nutmeg and then that was followed by so that carrot I'm asking, kind of flavor. So if people don't like carrots. You, don't, you probably don't want it. You because I do I do taste the carrot. Carrots right behind the spices. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Whereas normally with carrot cake it's the spices and then the frosting. Mm -hmm. This one the frosting's not strong enough to really be up there. It's kind mm -hmm. of down lower so you, you taste the carrot. Yeah. Okay. I, no I agree but it doesn't bother me because I like carrot. Yeah. So. Yeah if you don't like carrot well why are you buying a carrot cake? Yeah you won't buy a carrot cake then. <laughs> That's true. Um, I agree with what you're, the point you're making though, is that some of the, there's a, there's another one, the strawberry, um, I like it so much. I like two of them better than the cake. Um, I'll agree with you. I'll right. agree with Maybe you. Maybe wonder if they're different ones or the same. I don't know. They're, they're the probably, strawberry one for sure is The strawberry is, yeah, the, that's your number one this oh, week? Oh yeah. Okay, that's my number one this yeah, week. we'll the, fight over it. The straw, yeah, we'll, we'll just have the rest I'll, of I'll it. lose, by the way. <laughs> No, uh, we'll have the rest of it. The strawberry pretzel pie is hands down that's the, best one. the best one this week. Yeah. And it's new, so you have to try it. Yeah, you it's just really did. good. If you like strawberry, you, I think you'll really yes. enjoy it. Yeah, you have to try it. Chocolate one's the next, uh, number two. Um, I think I'll, I would go for the chocolate too. Yeah, it's really because, good. It's a really nice chocolate. Because the sugar cookie is cold. Yeah. It's cold and dense. I and like the sugar cookie though. I do too. <laughs> and I don't I even too. like sugar cookies. I do too. I like it too. And maybe after I let it sit out for yeah, uh, a little while a little bit. and soften up a little bit, I'll probably like it more. Uh, but for right now, I'm going for the chocolate as yeah. well. It was, it was a really nice chocolate. It, it was, was really double fudge brownie is yeah. what they call it. Yeah. But it's just a really nice, it, it does have a brownie uh, flavor to it. Yeah. So what is the least sweet and the most sweet? Um, least sweet? Probably, I hate to say it, the carrot cake one. You think the carrot cake it's is less sweet, less than, the sweet than the lemon? Mm -hmm. I didn't get much sweet out of the out of the carrot cake. Like I said, I even ate some of the frosting by itself, and it's not very sweet. So mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just not a sweet cake. Which carrot cake is not traditionally sweet? It's the frosting that makes it's it. It's the sweet. frosting that's and sweet. And this is not a super sweet frosting. Right. Um. I I don't know if I agree with you on that. You think I, the lemon? I think the lemon was least sweet, but the the carrot cake would be a close second yeah. because it's it's it is sweet, and some people are going to get that and say, "Oh my gosh, how can you say that?" I, I just know how I like carrot cake. Well, I like thick cream super, cheese frosting. Super sweet. Yeah. yeah, lots and lots of sugar. Yeah, that's how I like it. You might like it like that. Okay, so, so that's the least sweet. What's the most sweet? Probably the strawberry one. That's why we like it so much. Well, I mean, the sugar cookie is pretty sweet too. I think um, the strawberry is the sweetest. Yeah, I think so too. The, the sugar cookie is sweet, but it's it's a different kind of sweet. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's not like a sweet, sweet, syrupy sweet. It's just sweet. But <laughs> if you get the strawberry, then you're eating a fruit. So, yeah, that's right. So you're eating something healthy. Yeah, you get um, your fruit, your fruit group, and your bread group from the from the pretzel. From the pretzel, yeah. So you can tick off those boxes. <laughs> um, you're getting your cheese group from the cream cheese. <laughs> so, so you think that's the most sweet too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. You really do need to try it. Uh, yeah. I, I think it, it, it's pretty. It's a pretty cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, so and I think you should try the carrot cake if you, if it interests you at all. Don't be afraid to try it because it yeah. is really good. If you don't mind spending 99 cents more, then go for it. Yeah. I do like it how they did this more than the previous cakes they've had. Um, and, and I'm sure it's beneficial to crumble too, because, uh, the past ones that we have tried have all been in trays. Yes. And we have had They're to, squares. yes, yeah. and we've had to dig them out. I think by crumble doing it this way, I would 
think it would be beneficial to them because they're not using all these little trays and it's not costing money. And it might actually use less cake to make them round instead of square. I don't know that at all, but I personally would just like to go on record saying I like it better without the trays yeah. because I would rather not have to dig it out of the tray. Yeah. But if you buy it and eat it in your car or you're taking it to work, you probably feel exactly the opposite. You probably would rather have a tray or something than to just have it like this. I would just get it individually and just have the one single box. And that's what we did. We got a box of four and then we got we got the carrot cake separate in its own little box. And who doesn't like a pink box anyway? Yeah. So we'll have pictures for you at the end. I think they're all good for trying. Yeah, we'll have pictures for you at the end of the cookies, of the nutritional information, all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.